Well, it may be winter, but there are still lots of things you can be doing right now to make sure your garden is in tip top shape next summer and a local nonprofit is here to help. Yeah, Portland Fruit Tree Project is offering a series of workshops this winter and spring covering all things tree care. So here to tell us about it, the executive director, Heather Keisler Forns. Good morning. Good morning. Appreciate you being here. I was going to try to work in some kind of make like a tree and leaf joke and then I was like, <laughs> you know what? I don't Save I, it for the I, end. I, yeah I should I should have waited until Save the, it for the end. end of the show. Um, okay, let's talk about what Portland Fruit Tree Project is all about. What what is the organization for? Yeah, so we care for and harvest from the trees that feed and shade neighborhoods. So most people know us for our backyard harvesting program, where if someone has too much fruit on their trees, we come with a group of volunteers, we harvest it, and we share it with organizations that are working with food insecure populations. But we also do tree care services, we do fun events, we do all sorts of things, and we do workshops. That's nice. great. Yeah. I think that the tree care aspect becomes really important, particularly during this time of year, too, because while these trees can provide shade and food and be so good for neighborhoods, if they're not cared for properly, they can also be a real problem for neighbors. So, True story. Yeah, what are some of the uh, workshops that you guys are going to be offering here through the winter and spring? Yeah, so traditionally we would just do winter and summer pruning, and we would kind of leave it there, but we decided that people are sort of ready for the next step in their horticultural home careers. Mm -hmm. uh, so we broke it out a little bit. We're doing different workshops for different ways that trees bear fruit. So some trees have fruit at their ends and some trees have fruit further up on their branches and there's different pruning strategies for those. We'll also be doing a lot of work this year with integrated pest management, which is fancy for let's get rid of some of those codling mods and make mm. the apples better. Mm -hmm. um, so those are going to be really fun workshops to try out this year. And we're nice. excited because we're doing it in partnership with an organization with a, a a business who does fruit tree care as well, tree and ladder fruit tree care with Jesse Spain. And we just think it's really important that people learn from different teachers. You know, we can teach people one way, but other teachers are going to have different strategies that might might sing more with people. Yeah, just have that, that holistic approach to exactly. it. That always, that's always helpful. So uh, when people think about the winter or that early springtime with their trees, you talk about the, the pruning and the fruit, but what, what's, kind of, what's kind of the focus? What do people need to keep in mind if you're the, the home, the home, what's the, arborist? What yeah. is the right word here? Home arborist, <laughs> home, home orchard manager. Yeah. yeah. We have a tree steward is often what we'll oh, talk about. Oh, there we go. The tree stewardship. One of the things that people really overlook is the importance of cleaning the ground underneath your trees. So if I you know, know that you had something gross on your trees last year, pick up those fallen leaves, don't leave that fruit on the ground. Like, it's really easy to think it's just gonna compost and go into the planet, which is true, but it's also gonna leave all of the pests and disease there. So one of the, mm. the easiest things you can do, you don't need a ladder, you don't need any skill, just pick up the gross fruit and put oh. it in your yard debris, not your home compost. I was absolutely that person. I would've thought just, hey, I mean, it's 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 compostable, you just <laughs> right, leave it there. Right, right. Well, and uh, you know, I would think, oh yeah, winter's a time to kind of like take the season off, but mm. how important can some of this winter care be in terms of your fruit yields and, and how things look in the summer? It won't change the amount of fruit you get, but it'll certainly change the amount of bugs that are in the fruit. Mm. So it's pretty important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a qu quality control exactly. on that one. So how can people sign up for these workshops? They are on our website, portlandfruit.org, and anyone who signs up for three or more also gets a 20% discount, which is a nice little bonus. Yeah. And are, are some of those workshops, you know, by by signing up and by participating, are you helping support all of the work that Portland Fruit Tree Project is doing throughout the year? Absolutely, so financially for sure with the workshop fees, but then we're also doing a series, uh, so there'll be two different locations. One is at Jessie's Orchard at her place, and then one is at the Park Rose Orchard, which is in East Portland. And that space is a wonderful community orchard space that we need a lot of help maintaining. So we also engage the workshop participants in caring for that space. Oh, well, maybe a good uh, gift idea for the tree steward in there, your life. There you go. There you go. Heather, thanks so much for joining us. Great Thank to you. chat with you about this. And if you want to learn more about Portland Fruit Tree Project and their upcoming winter and spring workshops, signups are going fast. They're pretty popular. So check them out right now at portlandfruit.org.